Listen guys, what you're about to hear now sounds really unreal. We have new images of interstellar object 3i Atlas and they're totally different from what we've seen before. They're actually amazing, groundbreaking, no, space breaking guys, but also we have updates on this mysterious non-gravitational acceleration of interstellar object 3i Atlas. This is going to be a very interesting video guys. I said that what you're about to hear sounds almost unreal because the new images of 3i Atlas, they show something that we do not see in normal comets. And we already have 13 anomalies confirmed. In the new images, we see this massive tail, massive, super, super long and a massive anti-tail that is still there, still pointing directly towards the sun like headlights of a big truck. And the numbers behind it, guys, the numbers are shocking. Let me explain everything in simple words. Between November 22nd and November 24th, amateur astronomers took several images of interstellar object 3i Atlas. And isn't it amazing that we get better pictures from these guys than from NASA? So all of them, all of these images, guys, they show the same pattern, a glowing coma, a tight, bright tail, and a very strong anti-tail. The best image was taken on November 22nd, and it's from Mitsunori Tsumumura. He has used a 0.5 meter telescope. It's amazing because interstellar object 3i Atlas is 300 million kilometers away from Earth. From that distance, the tail appears to stretch 5 million kilometers. That's how long that tail is. So the anti-tail towards the sun goes for about 1 million kilometers. To understand that, guys, at a speed of 400 meters per second, it would take a whole month to travel 1 million kilometers. Now you might wonder, okay, why does this matter? The anti-tail is a problem for any explanation that wants to tell us that this is a natural comet. Why? Because for the anti-tail to push against the solar wind that it's coming towards it and still reach that huge size, the headlights, it must have a huge momentum, huge because the solar wind blows at around 400 kilometers per second. That is 1,000 times faster than any gas that would naturally escape from a comet at the distance of 3i Atlas, where 3i Atlas is right now. Ram pressure goes with the square of the speed, so the anti-tail would need a mass density of 1 million times higher than the solar wind, which itself is only a few protons per cubic centimeter. So here's the explanation why I mentioned this. If this is a natural cometary activity, the outer anti-tail requires a mass loss flux of 200 tons per second per square area of 300,000 kilometers times 300,000 kilometers, including the regular tail that's there too. The total mass loss over the past two months would be a few billion tons, but that didn't happen, right? For a natural comet, this would mean that in October and in November 2025, the object lost around 10% of its estimated mass. That mass is 33 billion tons, calculated earlier from the fact that 3i Atlas had no non-gravitational acceleration in July, August, and September. It didn't have it. Now it does. But later, when did this happen? Well, near perihelion in October, a non-gravitational acceleration was detected. And maybe you remember, guys, Harvard professor Avi Loeb said before Atlas was reaching perihelion, he said that's the moment when it's hidden behind the sun, when we can't see it from Earth, when it would be able to do a maneuver to either release, if it was artificial, 
probes towards Earth without us noticing, or it could change direction. Guys, it did. I've reported about this in my last video. The last two videos that I have made about 3i Atlas, guys, if you, if you long for this topic, you need to see them because this is, for me, this really has changed my opinion about this object. I have to tell you this. Because before I was like, yeah, this is probably a comet, but it's mysterious, really interesting. I'm changing my opinion about this, guys. I really have to say because math doesn't lie. So later near perihelion in October, a non-gravitational acceleration was detected. JPL Horizons reports it now also as highly significant at 10 standard deviations. If this acceleration is caused by natural outgassing, the object must have lost more than 10% of its total mass since 400 meters per second is the maximum thermal gas speed. But, but, guys, here comes the but. If it was a technological object using thrusters, it could produce the same acceleration with far less mass. Chemical thrusters reduce the required mass loss by two orders of magnitude. Iron thrusters reduce it by four orders of magnitude. So what we need to do right now, we need future spectroscopy that can check how fast the jets actually are and whether they match natural sublimation or something else. More images came from Paul Craig's on November 22nd. It looks elongated. It might be from motion blur. We don't know. Peter Carson Lee, November 22nd in Spain, also new images. Elena Walter, November 24th from Chile, also new images. And all these images show the same anti-tail and tail. So everyone is now waiting for the big moment, is waiting for high resolution images from Earth's biggest telescopes plus the Hubble and Webb telescopes. The closest approach to Earth will be on December 19th, 2025 at a minimum of 269 million kilometers. So in December, we'll likely, this month, we'll likely decide the true nature of 3i Atlas. And guys, maybe you remember, I have talked about this in my one of my last videos and that this is still breaking my mind the hill radius mystery the jupiter hill radius mystery that that's for me one of the most important parts and the most bizarre part the non-gravitational acceleration of 3i atlas is updated continuously on nasa's jpl horizons you can see where it's going and on october 30th 2025 the radial acceleration a1 was 1.6 times 10 heighten minus 6 au per square day but now on november 24th when they recalculated it a1 dropped to four times seven heightens minus seven AU per square day, a factor of four. So what does that mean? Earlier forecasts showed that 3i Atlas will pass Jupiter on March 16th, 2026 at a distance of 53.445 million kilometers. And here comes Jupiter's hill radius at that time is 53.502 million kilometers. Is that a coincidence that it gets into this hill radius? I explained everything. Please, guys, I don't want to go into that much details, but you will understand it very easily in this video here. Click it in the end screen, guys. It'll blow your mind away, I promise. These two numbers match to within one standard deviation. This is an absolute anomaly. Because inside that hill radius, Jupiter's gravity dominates. So anything outside that radius gets stripped away by the sun. And 3i Atlas exactly meets that radius. Change direction in perihelion to get to Jupiter. That is such an 
unlikely possibility. Strange thing is, when Professor Dr. Avi Loeb reached out to NASA and um, told them about this uh, mystery or this new phenomenon, they didn't really give him an answer. They basically changed the numbers and the new numbers projected 3i atlas slightly outside the hill of radius. So they change it when someone asks about it, but there's a but. This new model uses old mass laws from larger distances and it probably doesn't match the real brightness evolution of 3i atlas. There's strong evidence that we have seen from Hubble and other studies that 3i atlas brightened much faster near perihelion. So if that is correct, that distance would move back towards the hill radius again. And Professor Dr. Avi Loeb says, and I'm with him with that, he says, the orbit does not care about what NASA is modeling. The reality will decide. So if the match between Atlas and the hill radius remains real, the probability of this happening by chance is less than, guys, 0 0.00004. So zero, basically. In that case, 3i Atlas could theoretically release technological devices near Jupiter possibly at the L1 and L2 Lagrange point where they need minimal fuel to stay in place. And this, this would be the most extreme anomaly so far. And I, I feel that too. Jupiter is more interesting for them. It's the larger planet. And if some artificial intelligence sent out probes billions of years ago, they need a long time to travel. Earth wasn't even interesting at that time. We were not there, right? So December, 2025 will decide everything. We're waiting for Hubble and Webb imaging, spacecraft, astronometry from Juno, Juice or Psyche, final JPL horizon updates as Atlas is approaching March 16th, 2026. Um, as Avi Luke points out, science is always a work in progress and no press conference, whatever they say there can stop the data. So the best is still ahead. Very, very interesting, guys. Now, thank you for watching. Leave me a comment. Are you changing your opinion about what 3i Atlas is? And what do you think about that hill radius anomaly? And really, these two videos that are here on the end screen, you can find them in my playlist. Go to my start page. Go on videos there. You'll see them anyway. Watch these two videos. I urge you. This is space breaking, guys. Now I'm quiet and I let you click here and I see you in a second.